Hello, this is the Geek Protagonist. Check out the shirt. E Man Gray Skull, because I know the way this thing sits, you can't really see me except for like my shoulders up. <laughs> so, while well, I was out and I got my boy's kids some stuff, uh, these cool paintings. This was also there too, and this is going to go on the heroic wall, actually, probably right in that spot. Yeah, boy. So this looks like this was originally at Ross for like 14 and it kept going down. I mean, it looks awesome to me. Got the Hulk, got Thor, got Cap, and got Iron Man. Some standout Avengers right there. All right. So... Once this, I kind of filled up the tote back up. I got another box, but that's going to be pretty much it. I got some other loose knickknacks that I've gotten over time, but those can be approached later when I stack them. So these are like the major boxes I need to get. Like these aren't boxes. The other things are like stuff or shopping. It's just, it's, those are okay. They came later. These have been sitting here forever. So... See what's there. Anyway, I gotta gather them all up. So let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Something specific and awesome. Did not have this and found it for a really cheap price. Uh, Jeff Loeb. Jeff Loeb actually did some of my favorite runs I've come to notice for like Batman and uh, he's a very good writer so this is Batman Hush the artwork was really good by Jim Lee but Jeff Loeb wrote a phenomenal story with Hush uh I will say this I'm kind of getting over the Batman keep you keep introducing like ghost maker or whatever you keep introducing new people who was in Batman's past and never was there before like I feel like Batman has enough villains and people aren't utilizing the villains enough because they either go Joker. Or I got to make a new character like the bloom. Which I think is a stupid character. Um, I think personally they should focus more on some of his other villains and start giving them a showcase. Cause part of the thing that makes Joker also so popular is because they keep doing stories with Joker and they don't do an, they don't try to dig into some of these other characters who are really, really messy, like Hugo Strange or uh, like uh, Crane. They do touch on them, don't get it wrong, but like they, they, it feels like they pushed Joker. And when they didn't, they pushed Batman Who Laughs, was Joke, which is just another Joker to me. Oops. I uh, hope they didn't take that out. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So now. We got Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, the Golden Child Deluxe Edition, Black Label. I actually realized there's a Joker book or something I didn't have. So I actually have to, uh, I have a list. I have to go through all of Frank Miller's things to see if I have all of his stories. Uh, the Dark Knight Returns it series, uh, as that character is like my favorite version of Batman. This is Wasp. A wings move from the McDonald's thing. So I have all the McDonald's characters. It's just eventually they have to have to get them or get to the boxes with them in it. So. I finally was able to get one. This was actually really hard to get when the movie was coming out. Uh, Wonder Woman 2, so maybe now it would probably have been easier. Uh, okay, thank you for your purchase. This is from Gold Star Tech. So go on eBay. You can find Gold Star Tech. Mm, see. I know it's backwards, but yeah. So I have for brighter... I have the now 4K version of Wonder Woman... More than two hours of bonus content. I cannot get the still book. That is fine. I can also get the digital movie that's in the inside. That makes this even better. 
I can add this to my little collection. Oh, we getting through this today. Hopefully, uh, let's see here. Oh. Good tape. Some of these DC black label books, they're great, but they are freaking huge. And I mean, just mean thin, like, I'm talking about like space wise, like, why the pages and stuff so big? It's like, I have a bookshelf, man. I got to like place this properly. So this is Wonder Woman Dead Earth. Um, they keep doing this thing where Wonder Woman's constantly rocking Batman's symbol. Uh, I know DC Future State, she has it too for the reasons. I know the reasons. I'm just not going to say because it's spoiled. Uh, I did not, I don't read future state i'm actually going to pick and choose which future states i like because some of them look good and i'm actually watching people kind of go through them and i'm not feeling it then i'll um so like for example comic story in uh comics explain they they'll do like their thing there's other ones too like uh blurred without fear and a few others where they'll kind of go through a story and i'll watch and i'll see from what they tell because they always hide a little like they don't give you everything and i'm going to read it anyway and I don't need sometimes even to go through the whole story. I just need to go to enough, like, two or three of, like, okay, I think I like this. But I've heard about Wonder Woman Dead Earth for something else where, it, but someone explained it, like, it's very heroic. She's, like, at one place to another. It reminded them a little bit of Planet Hulk, and I'm always in for anything with Planet Hulk. But it also establishes her and who she is as Wonder Woman. So, I will be reading that at some point and reviewing it. Because once I get through these initials and I start cleaning, I'm actually going to be reviewing more comics and movies and some shows. Uh, mostly trades, but once in a blue moon, I'll review. By this point, you would have already seen a bunch. But from the time I'm shooting this, I haven't reviewed more comics yet. Because I want to start giving people alternatives as I've been finding them. Uh, Marvel has a few. I know it seems like I have a lot of DC, but no, I have a few Marvels. Like, I'm going to be grabbing Immortal Hulk and Turtles and, uh, there's another Marvel. Anything of the Donny Cates ones I'm going to grab. So, there's these, there's Marvel ones too. It's just Marvel's been really not hitting it for me lately. So, I got this and, I mean, if you couldn't tell why. <laughs> Power Rangers and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I wish they would have did this crossover when they introduced Jenica. I understand why they didn't. But I wish they did. And it's funny because Mon Monkey Fighting Robots, I actually think they actually do have a comic book. So, yep. This will be read. This will be enjoyed. I know a lot about it. Don't care. I know how to deal with the Green Ranger. Which was smart. Let's see, another little package here. I already can tell this is a fake pen. Oh, Moxie. I actually just thought, I don't, I've played a little bit of Borderlands. Um, I'm not really big on first person games, but I actually like the idea of her character where she's like trying to hide and she's got the, the hick thing and the, and the non, the weird accent. So I thought that was cool. Uh, okay. We got to, we got to, I'm going through this whole thing and then I got another thing. Got a don't bend here. And oddly enough, the reason why you're seeing me get a lot of Batman too, um, and Wonder Woman, is actually because the people that are writing it. I actually would prefer to read a Superman story. Except for Dark Knight Returns. That is like my quintessential... I'm all in it for Batman, but what happens is lately is there, and I've been hearing some good things about uh, Daredevil. I think Chip Zdarsky's writing it. I've been hearing like a lot of people say, yo, that's actually a good one. I've noticed that people, it's funny because he's kind of, Daredevil's kind of like a Batman in his own right, but I've noticed like a lot of people have had some good runs with Daredevil. Like I know Mark Wade did, like he's a character you can really sink your teeth into. I think that's why. Okay. This is something I'm happy because I've been trying to get the last issue and I just found the last issue. I got the first 
three or four, but I didn't get the last one. And it pissed me off because I was trying to go through back issues. Uh, there's also a Punisher one I want where Punisher kills the Marvel Universe. There's the one where it's like uh, that. And then there's the one where it's like a virus. I want the one with the virus too. But this was something interesting. Marvel Universe versus the Avengers. Uh, and one of the things I found really, really cool about this was it, it was weird because it was like a tribal thing. But Hawkeye was the hero. And I actually would like to see more Hawkeye stories like this. How far will the Avengers go to save the world? And I got through most, and I never got to read the last book. And now I have it, so I can read the whole story. And when I do, I will review it. Uh, but I think it was like all of the Avengers and people in the world, like heroes in the world, kind of turned into cannibal kind of cavemen. It was like they... they it was like they went savage, but they went like kind of. So there's a story with uh, Punisher. And you'll see he has like a hazmat symbol instead of his Punisher skull. And the world turned into cannibals. Like the heroes turned into cannibals, but they weren't zombies. They just became crazy cannibals. This one is like they became cannibals, but they became savage. Like they literally started doing like simplistic talks and the way they were doing it, it was like they were these crazy caveman eaters with like things so it was like cannibals but it was different and it was a very interesting survivor story especially because uh hawkeye was the hero of the story and i had read it in a long time because i was so pissed because it was like a four-part story if i remember correctly and I couldn't find the last comic. And I finally found it online. But I never knew they turned it into a trade. And while I was looking online, I was going to buy the last comic for actually a little bit more than I think it should have been. And I was like, wait, is that a trade? And it was a really good price trade. And somebody was like, hey, uh, you know, it was selling really low. I don't think anyone noticed it. And then I got it. So, like I said, my friend gave me these two. But I got Gladiator Hulk. Uh, I guess we'll, I'm trying to figure out where to sit that. Dancing Baby Groot. Potter Groot. And Scarlet Witch. Like I said, I already bought these, and then my friend gave me a bunch, said she didn't want them. I was like, dang it! I wish you had said something sooner. I wouldn't have bought these, but, you know, it is what it is. Another package! I'm actually trying to, I'm down to the things. So I'm actually trying to get through these. So I can do the tote thing and I can put this kitchen and stuff back together. And I can work on the next thing, which is the living room. Kind of get this place back in an organized fashion because I want to start playing video games and kind of relaxing again. And not, if I'm not doing videos, I'm trying to work on stuff. So I kind of just want it all to be over. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, that this box is not going to survive it's too it's too taped up in weird places like corners and randos and like you don't know until you're trying to pull it and it's gotten pretty bad so it is what it is uh, maybe it will survive I don't know Okay, maybe it will survive. I got like a bunch of boxes surrounding me here. I think this is another fig pen. They did a big box for a little fig pen. Oh, I know what this is. This is uh, Endeavor, the fig pen. So, yeah, these are all going to pop because this is the only way I can get this off. So here's what happened. When I saw Hero Killer Stain, I found Endeavor on the person's thing too, or right next to him. And it was like weird because Endeavor was only, it was like one of those, another one of those that like, when I see them less than 10 bucks or like around 10 bucks, I kind of, it peaks me up. Uh, Endeavor's not one of my favorite favorites. I like him. I think he's interesting. But enough that I like that now he's like the number one hero. 
Uh, but he's also another heavy one, like Hero Killer, like vacuum. Quite heavy. I am like surrounded by boxes. I can't wait. I gotta clean this area up. I do more recordings later, so. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, got this thing. It's supposed to be relaxing. Cardboard. Nice coloring. Three colors. It's kind of bent because of how it's set. Got a package. I feel like this is probably a fig pen. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me cut some things. And I want to start changing this area up so I can record my new way. I got to make some adjustments. So. Uh, we'll put that there. This one at least is secure it is. I like how they did it. Very simple, but very secure at the same time. Where is the opening? Uh, Alright, so this one's kind of loose for some reason. It sucks. But I probably just have to open it and reset it. Yeah, I think I have to open it and reset it. But this is Captain America. Contest of Champions. It looks like he it looks like he took a little spillage. And um that's it for this one. I know this one. Oh wait, no, it's not. I'll do this in the next one. Went a little long, but it was worth it. So, let's do this. We got Wasp. We got Scarlet Witch. Put those over here. We got Hulk Gladiator. We got Big Group. Potted Group. We got a uh, Loose Captain America. Endeavor. And Moxie from Borderlands. I think if the Captain America has been open, I'm going to try to fix it. We got Wonder Woman. Got a velvet uh, thing that I'm going to color for fun. We got Marvel Universe versus the Avengers. Once I read this, I will review it. I'm going to try to actually put it near the top so I could get through. It's not even that thick. Um, so I can review it for you. Uh, Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I do want to get my hands on Punisher one of these days. Wonder Woman Dead Earth. I, I think Marvel needs to start trying to do some more of these like side stories like these where you can capture the characters for fans like me who are kind of getting disenfranchised with their main line. Do some things that will bring you back in another way. Uh, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, The Golden Child. Uh... Hush, which I got for a really great price. And uh, I think that's it. All right, Geek Protagonist, stay safe, stay healthy, stay real. And I'll see you. One more. Mm -hmm.